You sure Crocker hasn't called yet? He's a half an hour late. Another drink while I'm waiting, Mr. Whitney. No, no, no. Sorry, Fred. Seven's my limit. You sure? Okay, make it a double. So I hear you're off to England. Big stuff, Fred. The biggest. Business, huh? Henley Regatta. <laughs> Boot the Yale boat home! Bulldog, Bulldog, Bow Wow Wow! Eli Yale! Play ball! Crocker! Where have you been? We're 32 minutes late. Relax, boss. I've been taking care of business. You got your steamer ticket. Your English money. Your train ticket up to Henley. All right. And I picked up your dog at J Press. New sweater looks terrific. What about my passport? Oh, nuts. I'm sorry, boss. I'll pick it up first thing in the morning. Bring it to you on the boat. Damn it. I want you done on Wall Street first thing in the morning. Come here. I want you to sell all my shares of amalgamated pristoleum. <laughs> Uh, boss, the firm's entire assets are tied up and amalgamated. I know that. Charlie Blodgett gave me a hot tip. The whole thing's gonna sink like the Titanic. He told me Charlie Blodgett's a liar and a drunk. He is! But he's a Yale man. Another drink before you go, Mr. Whitney? Make it the usual. Bulldog, bulldog, bow, wow, wow, Eli, Yale, play ball. Anybody call for me, Fred? Harriet, Nancy, Lorraine, two Lorraines. How about a uh, Hope? Hope Harcourt. Nope, but a lady came and asked for you. He's wrong, Billy. It was only me. Oh my God, Reno, we had a date. Yeah, I'd say forget it, but you already did. I'm sorry, Reno. My boss is going to London in the morning, and he said me do a thousand things for him. <laughs> I'm going to London in the morning. All you had to do for me was buy me a drink. Who will it be, ma'am? A martini, only put a cherry in it instead of an olive. Two Manhattans, Fred. You know, Billy, you're not looking too good. I'm not sure this Wall Street job is too good for you. What are you talking about? I'm making $35 a week. Yeah, but you're in trouble, kid. If you keep acting like a stuffed shirt stockbroker, you're gonna turn into one. Why do I put up with this, Fred? You're nuts about me. In fact, why don't you come to London with me? Reno. Come on, we'll do the town upright. Buckingham Palace, Big Ben, Bushes and Hyde Park. Reno, be serious. <laughs> I am serious. Come with me, Billy. England won't be the same without you. Guys like me are a dime a dozen. You won't miss me over there. Why are the cute ones always so dumb? <laughs> My story is much too sad to be told, but practically everything leaves me totally cold. The only exception I know is the case when I'm off on a quiet spree, fighting mainly the old ennui. Suddenly I turn and from champagne near alcohol 
yet. I get a kick. Oh, shucks, Reno. There's something I've got to tell you. Yeah? I'm in love. I'm at cabin 13. Meet me right after we sail. Come on, Reno. Not with you. I'm in love with a girl. God, she's fantastic. She's so fantastic. She won't even talk to me. That's why I can't go to London with you. I've got to stay here and... Ah, uh, so that's it, eh? All this time you've just been giving me the runaround. The runaround? You had me thinking you wanted to marry me. How could you think that? I've always treated you with respect. Exactly. Did you ever once try to get me drunk? No. Did you ever once ask me up to your apartment to look at your etchings? No. Well, we've been in a taxi dozens of times, and did you ever once grope? No. Not one lousy grope. You shouldn't have led me on like that if you didn't mean it. Reno, I never meant to mislead you. Of course you did. You never even laid a hand on me. And I'm not used to men treating me like that. My dear, you're sailing off without me, yet you don't seem to give a damn. I know it's fearful of me not to be more cheerful, but thank heaven I am. You mean to say you're glad to leave me? Can I believe that's what you mean? Why don't be funny? I'm just wild about you, honey, but I'm oh, so glad. So glad it's driving me mad to say goodbye to all things that typify the hundred of my daily routine. And there's no cure like travel to help you unravel the worries of living today. When the whole brain is cracking, there's nothing like packing a suitcase and sailing away. Take a run around the Atta, Granada, Granada, Sienna, and then around Rome. Have a high time, a low time, and in no time you'll be singing home, sweet home! Excuse me, Captain, have you seen a Mr. Eli Whitney come aboard? Mr. Whitney is in the bar. I thought you kept the bar closed till you sailed. He had a note from his doctor? <laughs> Captain! Captain, a catastrophe! We may have to delay the sailing. What is it? Icebergs or hurricane? Where's Charlie Chapman just wired? He's canceling his berth and sailing on the Mortania. Good God, man. The passenger list. Hope Harcourt, the debutant. Oh, that's not bad. The Norman D has Jimmy Walker, Machine Gun Kelly. <sighs> Lord Evelyn O'Clay. Not the w wealthy Englishman. Wait a minute! Benjamin Franklin! It's not the same one! Damn. Then we have nobody. Quick, run down to the store club and see if we have anybody left over for my flat. Hi, sir. Hey, Captain, where are all the celebrities? Yeah, this tub's dead on Flying Dutchman. <laughs> Newsies, please. Ah, news of the press. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Reverend Henry T. Dobson. Not the Henry T. Dobson. Uh, uh. Come off it. As you no doubt heard, I'm on my way to the Westminster Conference where I shall present my two newest converts, Luke and John. Luke here was a compulsive gambler. As a reminder of his former shame, he shall carry a deck of cards. John here was a compulsive drinker. Reno Sweeney! All right, now we're getting somewhere. I'll say, hey, Reno, what are you doing on board this card? <laughs> Same thing I do in my nightclub. I'll be saving sinners twice a week in the ship's lounge. I see you brought the sinners with you. Uh -huh. Meet my angels. Purity. Hi. Chastity. Hi. Charity. Hi. Serenity. Hi. Tranquility. Hi. Uh, <coughs> and I'm virtue. <laughs> Easy time, no doubt. Say, brother, was that a pass? Miss Sweeney, I have no interest in either you or your fallen angels. I'm ashamed to be seen in public with you. <laughs> How about a picture, girls? <laughs> Make sure and send a couple of the Archbishop. You know, girls, it ain't easy being New York's most notorious evangelist. Come, who'll leave this sinner beside distilled water? What? <laughs> Which way to the bar? Thank you. Hey, girls, 
Give us the hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Oh, Miss Harcourt. Miss Harcourt. Miss Harcourt. Harcourt. Are you for signing up the Golden Star Ball? How about a new Harcourt Tillion? Aha. My daughter's debutante days are over. She's about to be married. Married? Yes, it's true. I'm marrying Lord Evelyn Oakley. We're going to be married by the ship, and I'm very happy. Hey, Edith, how about a smooch? I beg your pardon. That's a kiss, your highness. No. Marvelous. You know, I'm making a collection of the expressions you Americans use. Let's see. A smooch is a kiss. Ha! I say, darling, how about a smooch? Egad! Evangeline Harcourt? Elijah Whitney! Oh. <laughs> down, boy, down. <laughs> Eli, you haven't changed in 40 years. Me? Look at you. You always did know how to fill a girl. Come now, you might have some respect for the memory of my late husband. Ah, uh, yes. It's any consolation I was coming out of the stock exchange when he took from that ledge. He jumped like a Yale man. Thank you, Eli. <laughs> oh, and did you know my daughter, Hope? And this is her fiancé, Lord Evelyn Oakley. Her fiancé? <laughs> Foreign word, Crocker. It means they're getting married. I don't believe it. Neither do I, yet in three days, my little Hope will be a lady. Sensational! Let's go get a drink. No, no, no. He's got a date on Wall Street. Get going, Crocker. Sell those shares. Oh, wait. All ashore that's going ashore. All ashore that's going ashore. <laughs> Seven o'clock, you do your morning prayers. Eight o'clock, you do your catechism. Nine o'clock, you do my shirt. Yes, Father. FBI! Have you seen a gangster dressed up like a minister? Uh, he went that way. Show me. Uh, look, I gotta meet someone in the bar. Just show us. Uh, I Mom! The coat is clean! England yet? Where's Snake Eyes? He hasn't shown? Forget about Snake Eyes. He's public enemy number one. He can take care of himself. You don't suppose the cops have to do you? Oh my god! I gotta find him! Would you be quiet? We're trying to make a getaway here. Right! Snake Eyes! Snake Eyes! Snake Eyes! Dobson. Are you on the way to the restoration conference? Well, you, um, you know, I was actually going to go to bed early tonight. <laughs> I mean the conference in London. Oh, well, you see, I'm not really a West Minister. I'm actually kind of a <laughs> mow in the East. <laughs> oh, I see. What did you feel, doctor? I'm a missionary. <laughs> missionary? Where? Yeah. Oh, way out in China. <laughs> China? <laughs> way, uh, way. Out in China. <laughs> I served in China for several years. Well, you see, I wasn't exactly in China. You know, I was kind of more. Oh, in... I see. You were in Indo China. Yeah, I was in indoor China. Yeah, and you were in <laughs> outdoor China. <laughs> well, I was talking about. What I said. You know, I think that's downstairs. <laughs> there he is. <gasps> What's your name? You're coming with us. Take your hands off me, this is it. I am the Reverend Henry T. Thompson. Oh my God, he's gone. There's no way to lead us not into temptation. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Excuse me. 
Um, Captain, is there a casino on the ship? Who oh, I know? Mm. There is now. It's Brother Luke! It's Brother Luke! I just wanted to wish the girl would play Oz, boss. <laughs> Crocker, I got three words for you. Get off the boat! Get off the boat! Fantastic. Reno, I'm in a mess. I'm gonna lose my job. My boss is gonna lose his shirt. All because of some dame. She must be some dame. She is. You're gonna love her. Her name's Hope. Hope Harcourt. Hope Harcourt? The debutante Hope Harcourt? The one who came in on a Zeppelin? The one who chases foxes on the cover of life? What are you saying? She's out of my league? Billy. Oh no, maybe she is. Billy? No, no, I can see it now. Guys like me deliver her groceries. 
They don't walk her down the aisle. Besides, she's getting married to an English guy, an Earl or something. <clears throat> Billy, where's your proper confidence? You think that tea bag can compete with you? You think he's got one tiny ounce of your brains, your looks, your, your... And words poetic, I'm so pathetic that I always have found it best. Instead of getting them off my chest, let them rest. Unexpressed, I hate parading my serenading as I probably missed the bar. But if this ditty is not so pretty, at least I can tell you how great you are. rain as soon as we escape these swells. But the sea's as flat as a pancake, dear. Please hope. I wish you wouldn't mention food right now. Sorry. I'll get you a bromo. Hey, Hope. How are you doing? Hello, Billy. Billy! You know, you're beautiful when you're about to faint. I didn't know you were sailing. I didn't either. What are you doing here? I'm selling lifeboats. Hope! I still don't way to be with you. I couldn't let you go. Oh, Billy. Oh, uh, oh Billy, uh, this is my fiance, Lord Evelyn Oakley. Billy Crocker, pleased to meet you. I'm afraid if you'll excuse me, I, I think I'd rather overdid it in the dining room. Me too. Did you have the sweetbreads? Oh, best brains I ever ate. Billy. I've never seen him served that way before. With the jellied eels and the head cheese. Like, oh. Fair? I find you sitting in the moonlight with him. I didn't shoot him. I didn't push him overboard. I thought I was more than fair. You're being terribly bad, Billy. 
Why we hardly know each other? Hardly know each other? We met one night at a party. We danced, had a little too much wine, took a little spin around the park. Took you to that little cafe by the docks. We had breakfast as the sun came up. Talked about moving to California, getting a bungalow, raising orange trees. Raising kids? Oh, Billy, this is all wrong. I married Evelyn and nothing can change that. You can change that. All you have to do is say... No! If you don't let me alone, I'll make a scene. You love me, Hope. You're gonna marry me. Stop a clock. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. You must be on her way. <laughs> I want to be a big bloke, Mama. Learn that new Argentine stroke, Mama. You'll see us in some putting crimson in the crimson when I roll on the varsity. That jerk? Sounds like meatloaf night at Leavenworth. Stay me up, will you, Mooney? Hey, where do you think you're going? The boiler room. A certain sailor's gonna show me the finer points of sailing. You're not going anywhere. With your big mouth, you could land us both in Sing Sing. Sit down. We're gonna play cards. I don't want to play cards! Johnny boys. Go fish. <laughs> Who is it? It's me, Billy. Uh, just one second, my son. I'm, uh, I'm doing what I need to frisk. Dear Jesus, I just want to take this time out of my busy schedule to thank you for all the things that you ever gave to me, like peanut butter crackers and my suit that I do. Amen. Come in, my son. Come on in, pull up a few. Thanks. I've got to lay low for a while. I don't think the purser believes I'm Murray Hill Flowers. Can I assist you in some way? I don't think a minister can help me here, Doc. The girl I'm in love with is going to marry another guy. I could kill the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> when I row on the varsity crew. That's my boss. If he sees me here, I'm dead. He wouldn't be able to see you if I stole his glasses. I don't know what church you belong to, Doc, but you're one heck of a Christian. <laughs> uh, just a moment, my pet. Oh. Entre vous, mon petit crabège. <laughs> My dear. 
dear. You look ravishing! Thought I needed to shave myself. What the? <laughs> What are you doing here? I just showed to take up a collection. I thought you did that in the chapel. Were you planning on attending chapel? No. Then pony up, or I'll come back when you've got a hangover. Ow. Okay. You know, funny thing, I seem to be wearing somebody else's hat. Could you read the initials there, Fletcher? I think it is. Where are my glasses? I don't know. Did you have them on when you barged in here? What? This is my stateroom! Then what am I doing here? I've never been so insulted in my life. <laughs> Why don't you just put on the other pair? I don't have another pair! Uh, good. That's what I wanted to know. <laughs> so I swiped his glasses. Now we'll be fine as long as the captain doesn't show up. <laughs> Disturbed you, Doctor, but does a uh, Murray Hill Flowers occupy this cabin? Not very often. Why? Well, we got a radiogram from Washington <laughs> stating that the man you are traveling with is not Murray Hill Flowers. He's in fact Snake Eyes Johnson, public enemy number one. Public enemy number one! Santa Domingo! Don't worry, Doctor. My man can handle him. But if you see him, just give me a shot. Tell me if I'm wrong, Doc, but I don't think you're really a minister. Kid, I'm gonna level with you. I'm not really a minister. I'm Moonface Martin, the famous gangster. Yeah, public enemy number 13. Help, police! Uh, where do you think you're going? I've got a wedding to bust up. Well, you're not gonna turn me in, are you? Doc, relax. We're pals. Well, you can't go out there. The captain thinks you're Snake Eyes Johnson. What I need is a disguise. Yeah, like a monkey suit, or a suit of armor, or a sailor suit. You want a sailor suit? No problem. <laughs> Hey, Irma. Hey, a 
Enemy number one. We don't want to set up an alarm among the passengers. You check the foredeck, report to me to the bridge. Aye, aye, sir. And remember, he's a master of disguise. <laughs> this is ridiculous. These pants must be six inches too short. <laughs> I oh! Ship has hit an iceberg. Oh, 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 oh. Tommy is saving the last two places in the lifeboats for you and your daughter. Oh, Billy, this is not fair. Who cares if it isn't fair? The ship is sinking. Do I have time to go back for my jewelry? Hurry. And remember, not a word to anyone. I hope you're proud of yourself, Billy. Now that you mention it, I am. Twelve hours after you tell me to leave you alone forever. Got you all to myself. Not quite all to yourself. Good morning, Mr. Whitney. Hi, good morning, dear. <laughs> hey, listen. I'm looking for a sailor. Huh. Take a look at this one. I need to send a wire. Whitney Building, New York City. Crocker! Send wire confirmation of amalgamated sales at once. You got that? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Better have him read it back. Do it. Uh, Madam sales, confirmation, what? <laughs> you remind me of somebody. <laughs> Look out! What was going on? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh my! Like a seagull I ever saw. Oh God! <laughs> Gotta run. See you later. Would you like to go? Well, the lifeboat. The lifeboat drill tomorrow morning. But, oh, but the sailor told us. He... The sailor told you what? The ship is sinking! Ah! Don't, ladies and gentlemen, she's only joshing. I suggest you see the ship's doctor, madam. And in the meantime, stand at the bar! <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, my son. Brother Luke uh, has been playing cards. Look, the wages of sin. For shame. Go hail if you marry. <clears throat> so you've been playing cards, huh? Do you know how to shoot craps? No. <laughs> okay, watch closely. I put up my money, and you put up your money. Then I roll some dice, and if I roll the same number before I roll a seven, I win. If not, okay. Ready? <laughs> There's something wrong here. Hey, thanks a lot. 
Ain't no problem. What'd I do? You bailed out on me. I nearly got nailed by my boss, and everyone's still staring at me in this stupid disguise. Hey, don't knock the disguise. Practically as good as mine. Hey, Billy. Uh-huh. And Moonface Martin, long time no see. You don't know me, Reno. I'm a wanted man. There he is. Dude. Doctor! Dude. Look at all the flying fish! Oh, <laughs> flying fish! Oh, yeah, look at all the teeny fishes in the air. Doctor, have you seen Mr. Flowers? You know, as a matter of fact, I did. Mr. Flowers just went towards the mizzen mast. We don't have a mizzen mast. Then it must have been somebody else. Hey, sailor, come with me. I need you to help me find someone. Aye, aye, sir. Who's he looking for? He's uh, looking for Billy. Billy ought to be a big help to him. Yeah. <laughs> Reno, Sweeney! I say, Lord Evelyn Oakley, might I have your autograph? <laughs> Why not? You know, I spent the most smashing evening at your club one night. Lordy, lordy, saints preserve us! Your singing had me stirred to a frenzy. Had me dancing about like bow jingles. <laughs> Thank you. Are you drunk or crazy? Good luck, Reno Sweeney. <laughs> I just had the most marvelous idea. How about we have tea in my cabin? I'm sure my fiance, Miss Harcourt, would love to meet you. I'm not sure. Oh, I... she'd love to. <laughs> marvelous. Um, shall we say four o'clock? Four o'clock. Neaters. Um, see you later, elevator. <laughs> Moon, that's the Tommy that's been making time with Billy's girl. This would be like, concern with the enemy. Exactly. Here's my plan. You go into the room early, wearing something that, uh, something that's not easy. Then I bust in, catch you whipping your clothes off. Then we blackmail them into breaking the engagement. Moon, that's just... Yeah. You don't like it? I love it. You know, Reno, we should have teamed up years ago. <laughs> We're two of a kind, all right. Partners. Through thick and thin. Night of day. Friendship, 
Flagship, just the perfect flagship. When other friendships go up the creek, ours will still be safe. La 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 la, la. quack quack quack. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack. I'm not saying quack, quack, quack. quack, quack. What do I look I like? I don't care what, what you look quack. like. Sing. When other friendships have been forgotten, ours will still be high. Quack, quack, quack. quack. wants me to wear it in the wedding. You know, it's odd. The old bees are just taken with things English, as I am with things American. Well, I'm certainly glad you feel that way, because this American certainly feels gaga about you. Gaga? I'm not sure I follow. Oh, well, does this make it any clearer? Marvelous. <laughs> To feel gaga about someone means to rub his neck. <laughs> no, you, you don't understand. I mean, um, I mean, you do things to me. Do things to you? I mean, send me. Send you where? One look at you and I get hot pants. Dear me, would a bit of ice do any good? I mean, hot pants means I'm crazy about you. Hot pants means you're crazy about me? Well, that's just fabulous, because I think you're the, the rat's pajamas, the absolute fleas knees. <laughs> I say, something funny. Yeah, but it's also kind of cute. Aha! So I come in here, and this is what I find. The spoiler of innocent girl and adore of things evil and wicked and yucky and all the same. Look at this poor child standing there and her nakedness. <laughs> There's something wrong here. There's nothing wrong here. Now hold on, Moose. No, I will not hold on. I will not permit this British lion in his ickiness to do equally icky things to you. And you know what? Don't you think your girlfriend's going to marry you after this? And I'm going to tell her that you're doing all this. Oh, please do. Only make it a bit thicker, will you? She's always saying I do like fur. Well, hold on a minute, Buster. I don't think you're taking the right attitude with this. I'm a dangerous man. Oh, come now, Padre. You're a sweet old guy, <laughs> <and> you know. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna show you how serious this really is. Th could you stand right here, please, just for a minute? Now, don't you move. I'm serious. Don't move. You're next. I've noticed that these clergy get a bit off sometimes. Evelyn, there's something I gotta tell you. This was a setup. That setup? Um, we were going to frame you. Frame me? He was supposed to come in and catch us in a clinch. Oh. You can't mean he thought that you and I would. What is that? 
Now you see how serious this is, huh? Huh? Moon, are you nuts? Put that thing away! No! Put it down! It's all right, Padre. You thought I'd take advantage of Miss Sweeney, and you came in here to protect her. And I admire you for it. I admire you for it immensely. What's the expression? Padre, I've got hot pants for you. <laughs> now you stay away from me, or I'll shoot. Just apprehend them too. Did you hear that? You gotta do something about this disguise. You're gonna have to stay out of the kitchen or else you're gonna end up on the menu. <laughs> hey sailor, uh, find out who this belongs to. Aye, right, sir. If only I had a, a phony beard or a, or a mustache. Trembling fog. Here, have a drink. Go now, Eli. Liquor has never touched my lips. You know a shortcut? Gigi! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Look at that moon. <laughs> Tonight is a night for romance, my love. Will you marry me? I can't, sir. I'm already married. But there's a lady looking for a dog. You can try her. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. Watch out for seagulls. <laughs> Nosy. 
So spare us all the pain, just skip the darn thing, and sing the refrain. you'd like to make. Kid, you're on. Oh, what's this all about? Go on, baby. Tell her. The world won't end. I can't. All right, I'll talk. No! Hope, I know this is hard for you, but you have to choose. I say, anyone have hot pants for a game of shuffleboard? <laughs> Captain, it's here! We've got him, ladies and gentlemen. No cause for alarm. Ladies and gentlemen, the man we've just arrested is Snake Eyes Johnson, public enemy number one. <gasps> yeah, I know. Take him away, man. You idiot! Release that man! Yeah! But I thought you wanted him clamped in irons. Clamped in irons? A celebrity like Snake Eyes Johnson? Let me get this straight. If I'm just a stowaway, you throw me in jail. But if I'm a famous murderer, you roll out the red carpet? You'll be my guest at the captain's table for dinner tonight. You know, he's not the only famous gangster on this ship. What do you mean, doctor? I mean, I'm not really a minister. I'm Moonface Martin, and I'm a public enemy too. <gasps> public enemy number two? Yeah. Move. Shut up, Irma. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it appears that we have not one, but two famous criminals on board. <laughs> now, now, let's make you feel right at home. Can I have your autograph? Can I put your trigger finger? Have you ever seen me? <laughs> hey, baby, room for one more. Uh, but fine, go on. Oh, oh, no. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the honorary captain of the NSS America. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Let it on, let it on. 
lucky was looked on as something shocking. But now God knows anything goes. Good authors too, who once knew better words, now only use four letter words. Right in prose, anything goes. The world has gone mad today, and good's bad today. And that's the word today, a day's a night today. Backstage you like, if love affairs you like, young bears you like, oh, I know what it will about. 